And yet there is another political story that has broken this morning, one that involves Sarah Palin, the new vice presidential candidate to run alongside John McCain. We're getting word from Reuters and other sources this morning that her 17-year-old daughter, Bristol, has confirmed that she is now five months pregnant. Bristol uh, apparently plans to marry her boyfriend. She is not married at the time, again, five months pregnant. And sources in the McCain campaign are now telling reporters that John McCain knew of the pregnancy before he tapped Bristol's mom, the governor of Alaska, Sarah Palin, to be his running mate, and he did not feel in any way that that was a disqualifying event. But we have Chuck Todd, NBC's political director, on the phone with us. Chuck, so much has been made about Sarah Palin as being a working mom who could identify with the problems that other moms and women across the country deal with. How is this story going to impact this situation? How do you think it will change the dynamic, if at, if at all. Well, it's it's unclear, but this is the this is the issue with somebody who hasn't been vetted. There's going to be a lot of new information that comes fast and furious at the public, and every little bit of it could change the perception of what people think about Sarah Palin, the image that they uh, that they rolled out of her at uh, last week when he announced her last Friday to now. So you know. Every new piece of information that we find about in these last 48, 72 hours then only motivates the press to see, well, what else is there? Well, well Chuck, let me interrupt for a know? second. When you say who hasn't been vetted, the, the, the McCain campaign clearly vetted Sarah Palin. You're saying now it's, it's the press that's having a turn. Well, the press is having their turn, but, you know, I think there's going to be a question of what did, what did the McCain campaign know on some of these things, uh, because normally if you would know this stuff, it would be odd not to uh, announce it in some form or another or not to have rolled it out. Uh, and obviously rolling it out on a day like today where there's no chance this becomes front-page news because of what's going on on the Gulf Coast only sort of raises the antenna uh, for a lot of folks to saying, okay, maybe they didn't know this uh, at the time a few days ago, and they're doing their best to see if they can just get it out and get this stuff out and not have to deal with it for days, maybe just have to deal well, with it for a few hours. Chuck, let me ask you, and I think maybe the answer to this question is it depends on your political perspective, but is, is, is a story like this more likely to bring about some criticism of Sarah Palin, or is it more likely to, to bring some people closer to feeling as if they can identify with her and that here is a woman dealing with many of the issues that other people all across the country deal with on a daily basis? I think it's the second, man. I think it's very possible people sit here and say, okay, you know what, this is the thing that, you know, I worry about as a parent or daughter, or I'm always nervous about could happen. And so I think it's the identify that's more likely to happen you know, people are usually very careful not to judge others uh, as far as how they raise their children or how their children behave. Uh, and, you know, considering that they've sent out a statement about how supportive they're going to be, how they realize their daughters are suddenly growing up a lot faster than they planned, that she's going to marry this young man, uh, and that they're happy about being grandparents, you know, their, re their response to this is probably something that will will uh certainly won't hurt them in the eyes uh of folks but again this new information finding out these new things this this is what happens when you unveil a person that was not known nationally every new piece of information can become a big deal and sometimes overblown all right that's nbc's political director chuck todd joining us on the phone this morning chuck thank you very much